Ladies, sorry, I just wanted to scare you right there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Escape from Tarkov. We're back with another video on Escape from Tarkov. I basically just repeated the same sentence as I started the video with. Regardless, we are back with another video from Escape from Tarkov. God damn it, three times. That's a, that's a new record for me. <laughs> started out on this game, you guys remember if you saw the first video, I literally started this game. The first time I had played this game was for a video. I, everything before that I had just seen streams of, I had just been watching like Summit, Grimms and all them. But that was my first experience. Now having some time with the game and going back to look at that first video I recorded, I realized how many stupid noob mistakes I was making. I could have moved so many more things into my, my character. Regardless, it's all about the learning experience, right? I even said that in the video. Now, I'm not excusing the fact that this video, I'm probably gonna make some stupid mistakes too. I'm probably gonna make some stupid mistakes. But I've had some experience with the game and you could tell by my inventory, it's still a bit messy. I still have to learn how to really, uh, like organize the inventory. I know I can stack bullets and stuff, but everything seems to just pile up and don't mind the knives here. I'm just saving up. If you bring, if you get 10 of them, you get an MP5 and I kind of want to try that. I think it's a deal with the Peacekeeper trader, I'm pretty sure. But as you can notice, I definitely have way more weapons than what I started with, uh, way more armor and stuff like that. I'm sort of trying to learn what's, what's worth keeping and what isn't. I actually found this baby the other day. Holy shit, look at this thing. This thing is my best, my prized possession. Look at the, look how many, look how much storage. There's so much space for activities in there. Other than that, I just, you know, I've been learning basic tactics like stacking backpacks and backpacks and backpacks and, and backpacks and, and there, that's where it ends. I don't really have a plan for this video. I sort of just wanted to play the game again and sort of, because I, I heard there was a, uh, they usually wipe the servers so they, everybody gets a clean slate during the betas. Just so, you know, everybody, uh, I think it's it's kind of like what Fortnite does with replays to my understanding. It's just like because new stuff is either being added or taken out and they just want to it's a clean slate. It's way easier if they just do it that way. So I kind of wanted to record another video of my progress so far in the video game and you can see I've done quite well for myself. I've been running some games with Eli Asian boy my friend as you guys might know him you might see him in video, my videos scrub from Rainbow Six and some other guys but I definitely want to do a high risk run here. I want to take a weapon that is worth a lot to me. I actually got this SKS the other day. I'm not going to use it, I don't think. I found it uh, while doing a run in Interchange, which is the mall map. I actually probably go there this game because it's probably my favorite map. It's the most entertaining, but I really want to take this in. This is like this gun I traded a, a watch for in the game, like the, the equivalent of a Rolex in the game. You can trade this. You can trade the Rolex for this weapon in this game. I haven't used it yet. I'm going to insure it because I'm going to be pissed if I die immediately without being able to use it. But it's already loaded, so let me take in two mags. I'm not going to take in my super expensive chest rig, this one, because it's literally my prized possession. <laughs> but I will bring in just the basics, like helmet and whatnot. Maybe a better bag, too. Here, let me find a spot for that, actually. All right, there we go. We're going to take a scav backpack in instead. And then we need armor. Let's bring, let's just bring the little bit weaker one in there. Let's bring a med kit, some painkillers for sure. Extra med kit just in case. Never know, might need a splint. <laughs> Actually, the splint is kind of funny because I found this one, the SKS, on the interchange run yesterday. I ended up s literally limping with my friend all the way to the extraction out of the mall. Like we got so lucky, but we, we killed a bunch of guys. We got the, probably some of the best loot I've ever found on a player so far which was this weapon and then some other stuff. But holy shit, was it tense. Like, I didn't have a splint or anything. I'm pretty sure we were doing a scav run, if I'm not mistaken. So we got really lucky there, but that's that's where that weapon comes from. Yeah, I'm gonna bring in an extra 30 rounds as well, just so I can load it in when it's needed into these mags. All right, can I see my character anywhere? I wanna see him. I wanna see what he looks like right now, what he's, what he's decked out. Look at this guy, look at me. This is way different than what I started. Look at this, I actually look like I'm half decent at this game, but I'm not, I'm probably gonna get destroyed the second I spawn, that's okay. Look, 15 raids, one survived. The only one I've survived is the first one I did. <laughs> Haven't had that good of a survival rate, for sure, playing this game as an actual PMC, or, I mean, scavs have been all right, they're pretty fun. I might actually start with a scav run because, you know, just, just to sort of warm up rather than going straight into it without being sort of conditioned to what the waters are like right now. So let's do that. Let's just do a scav run. Let's do a quick one on factory. Actually, no, let's not do factory. Let's just do one on intercha interchange because I don't know how long it's going to take. Like I, I, I don't 
Uh, it's, this, this could end up being a really long run. This might just be the video itself, I'm not sure. But I definitely want to try and attempt a run on the main character at least. But I just want to do a quick scab run real quick. Ah, fuck it. We'll go factory for this. We'll go factory for this, because then I know it will be faster. Let's do that. Not going in with much here. And I also learned that scav runs, you actually uh, you actually take the loot. I said in the last video, I, I assume that you just play as a character that's there to fuck with other people. That's not the case. You actually go in and whatever you find, you can take out providing you extract it and whatnot. Just you're obviously lacking way better gear than a lot of the players probably around you are running around with. But it's still a chance to like just sort of grind for gear. It's a lot slower, but it's 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 a lot less risky. Wow, that was an experience. Perfect. I got a weapon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ooh, a knife. Oh, my guy kind of stacked right now. Okay, he's got an AVS tea bag. Nice. Not bad. Definitely gonna need this stuff. Also realizing that last video I was throwing every time I reloaded. I think I came here at the wrong time. I'm in a ninja loot though. See all that going on? I'm just gonna grab the stuff. God, this is already super tense. Why is it like this? Give me this. Give me another knife. I need more of these. <laughs> Someone just ran through all these people. Like, I'm actually, I'm nervous. I'm just gonna, I might just try and get all the weapons and get the MP5. Shh. Be very, very quiet. This is what being a scav is all about though, to be fair. You just gotta really play it slow. There's only five shots for the Sega. It's definitely better than this shotgun, but I don't think it's worth it. I have way less rounds using it than I do with this. So fall back a bit, check this thing, make sure it's good. This is only a Sega 9, but it's the nine millimeter version. So definitely a better chance of killing someone with it. God damn it, this is already super intense and I've been here for like a minute. I don't really know if it's worth going up against some of these guys because they're probably super looted. The, the way the guns are sounded right now, it might not be worth it. So I'm just going to check this crate really quick and I might try and just skedaddle out of here. Okay. Okay. Some good ammo. All right. What is this actually? Let's check what this is. Oh, all right. It's just a mag. I might just sell that then. Okay. There's another body over there. I might try and go loot that real quick. Definitely as a scav, I always try to, you know, just, I don't know. I, oh, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Holy sh- All right, okay, that was- Yeah, someone is literally murdering everybody there. That was fun. Good stuff. Fuck the- Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, judging by the amount of bodies there, that guy was probably just in that- He was probably in that session for a long time because you can- As a scav, I think you can jump in pretty much at any time during that depending on when the session is started. So that guy was probably there for a while and he's probably the reason- all those bodies were there. Holy shit. But that's okay. You know what? That's what we wanted. We wanted a quick run. I didn't get anything that I got out of that. That's just pretty normal for scavs. But we're going to take this stuff into an actual scav run. Not a scav run, sorry. An actual main run. And we're going to try and use it on interchange. Because I'm I'm curious, all right? All right, let's make sure we get good, good insurance here. Because uh don't want to... Actually, actually, is the balaclava... Or, that's not really needed, is it? All right, I'll just I'll I'll just do this. I don't know why this is insured. I think I did that as a mistake. The tomahawk, you get one every time, so don't really care about the rig. I'm gonna save the mags though. Backpack's not super important. Container always stays with me. Yeah, we'll just we'll just do that. We're already racking up 31 grand here for insurance, so let's just do this. Yeah, let's just insure all that. Make sure at least we keep the weapon, and it can still be looted, by the way like by AI and whatnot and within the storyline like if once you insure something there's not a guarantee that you'll get it back it's a very small percentage depending on who you're insuring with but it can get looted sometimes which means basically you'll never see it again <laughs> again I don't know everything about this game but I know that the, the sheer basics and whatnot okay it's a learning experience and I want to definitely play more of this game for sure as I have already <laughs> done that as you could see by the inventory and the the difference in like what's in it and stuff still got to learn management though for sure hopefully this run will be a bit better uh i definitely have the uh advantage of having a better weapon and just better armor and i could survive for longer and meds and stuff like that but this place is massive and it's scary as shit <laughs> Ooh, it's a raining map okay okay i can hear the rain all right it's gonna be a, gonna be a little bit wet in here that's all right that's okay we're gonna be inside most of the time we're gonna be in the mall that's fine we're gonna go shopping we're gonna have a good time we're gonna Shop for people and their items that they're carrying. <laughs> All right, let's get it done. Let's get killed immediately. Let's not. No, let's not do that. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to die immediately. All right. I want to have at least at least a 
half decent run, okay? My stuff is insured, it should be fine, so that kind of gear fear is sort of gone for me. But there's always a chance of it being lost. And I want to make an entertaining video for you guys, okay? That's, that's, that's my goal. Ooh, look at this thing. <gasps> Poggers, boys. <laughs> All right, let's change it to fall auto immediately. Make sure all our stuff's good here. Yep, okay. So going as going in as a main character, and obviously the veterans of this game know this stuff, but for the people that are new to it and are just getting into it with me, uh, playing as a main character, like your actual character, uh, the scavs on the map will actually shoot at you uh, because you're not friendly to them. If you play as a scav, you're friendly to them. Hence, when I spawn next to the other scav that wasn't a player, that was an AI, they didn't shoot at me. So that's important to know, I guess, being a new player like myself. <laughs> and I'm hoping I can find a few gun crates in here because I know there's quite a few scattered. Just the atmosphere in these games, or this game in specifically, just I guess any game like this with this sort of style of like stealthiness and whatnot. It's, it's super, it's tense, but it's refreshing. Like you don't find too many games that are as hardcore as Tarkov or you know like Daisy Mod was it when it first came out. There's that ever looming of fear of like everything you have will be lost if you die. So it gives it a lot of life in my opinion, which is ironic because you know when you die you, you lose your life and everything you have. But nice little scope. Take that. Take this mag as well. Can sort it later. It's a little weapons carrier right here. Gotta be cautious. There's a nade. That's perfect. I can use that. Two nades. Beautiful. That'd be really helpful, actually, in the future. I have a silencer on this bad boy, too, so... Super... a huge advantage, actually. Not even... not even super. It's a huge advantage of this game to have a silencer. It's just... you're literally the silent killer of the server, which is crazy. Granted, other players could obviously have them as well, but... you know... Don't exactly know the map 100%. So I'm really just trying to find an entrance to the actual mall rather than the parking garage. So apologies for that, but... I'm learning. Rem remember that, okay? I'm learning. Just look at the scale of this place. Like, look how far that goes down. It blows my mind. It's crazy how big these maps are. A little duffel bag here. We can check this. Yeah, there's nothing. Probably someone's already been here or unlucky spawn with nothing in it. Am I just at a super unfortunate part of the mall right here? Because I can't seem to find the entrance at all. <laughs> That's the- that's where the magic of editing comes in, though. I can just cut to the point where I actually find it. Okay, you know what? We're gonna regroup. We're gonna go back outside. We're gonna try and find an actual entrance to the mall. Providing I can even get out from here. I don't know if I can. Not looking like it. Man! Oh, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Perfect. Run around a bit. Sound of the rain is covering the sprinting, so let's use that to our advantage. Okay, here we go. So this is the actual part of the mall. It's, uh separated a bit, but it's just a part of a warehouse of an actual store inside of it. Another nade. Holy shit. Yeah, I'll put these in here, I guess. Actually, I'm gonna replace one of these with a flash grenade, because that might be useful. There might be more nades in this one, too. Nope. It's empty. Someone just shot outside. I'm- I'm literally tensed up right now. Like, it took me way too long to get in here. And usually the way it goes, the longer it takes you to start looting, the more players that spawn in. Because, uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure at any point people can just pop in. I'm not sure if it's at one, that's 100% accurate, but there's a certain time limit where it can happen. Okay, let's try and move inwards a bit to the actual store. Here we go. Here's where the action kicks in. Now we're in the innards of the mall. You can see the escalators and shit, but I think there's someone around here, so I'm trying to be super cautious right now. Oh, there he is. There he is. Shit. Lost sight of him. This is terrible. I hate this. I don't know if he saw me, though. Oh, there he is. That's him, right? Nope, that's a scav player. Yeah, let's try and move around a bit. Get a little bit of a better position. I know two players are over here, so I'm gonna try and move around. I think he went into that store. He must have. This is the guy he killed right there. Okay, try and get a little flank on. Let's see if we can get behind their position. There we go. It's gotta be them fighting. Yeah, one died there. There's the other one. I saw him. Die, fucker. God, that guy's lucky. Are you kidding me? He stopped to loot another guy. Let me see if I can just loot this guy real quick. Get a second weapon. Second opinion. Make sure this thing's good. Less than half. We can reload that. That guy's gotta be hurting. Unless he's healed up already. Wait, did this use one of my- No, 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 no. You, you don't use that. 
You use this one. You use that one. There you go. You don't get special treatment. You're just the secondary, all right? Yeah, that guy ran. I'm surprised he didn't die. I must have been shooting the body he was looting. Definitely hit him, though. Yeah, let's try and get a little aggressive here. It's definitely a mistake letting him heal up like that, I feel like. All right. Fuck it. Where'd you go? This guy just booked it. He must have. I think he must have went through there and he ran back there. God damn, man. Let's see if I can find another way towards him. <gasps> wait, is this the favorite part of... This is my favorite part of them all. Right here. Wait, wait till you see it. 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 Welcome to idea. <laughs> I love that shit. Every time I see it, it just makes me laugh. And we're not here for cheap furniture, okay? We're here to kill somebody. <laughs> Seriously, man, where did this guy go? Evasion skills plus 100. Well, we did a full circle. And haven't spotted him. I guess he, he might have just left. I don't know. He might have gotten something that was worth keeping. All right, I guess I'm just going to be on my guard then. Ooh, that's a good find. These things are worth a lot of money. These cats, a lot of money. Now, providing I can get out of here safely without dying, I'll have made said money. <laughs> Okay, this guy either left or he's he's just lurking somewhere waiting for me to make the mistake because he's playing super patient and I'm not. And you know, at that point, I have to commend him because well played if you do that. I'm definitely not patient enough to just sit around and wait for someone. So kudos if you can kill me like that because I'm not going to see it coming for sure. Maybe that's something I should work on now to think about it. Ooh, a key. Those are good. Keep that for later. I'm not going to examine it yet because I don't want to get my head blown off while standing still, but I'll do it later. Oh, I hear a scav. It always gives me so much anxiety going up these escalators. I think the scav is literally just up here because there's usually one that spawns. But just being so exposed. Like... Piece of shit. God damn it, you scav. Why have you done this to me? Why have you forsaken me? Why must you make me give up my position? For what? A laugh or two? Uncool, bro. Uncool. All right, I have to heal up a bit, so I'm gonna go back here. Oh, he actually didn't. He actually didn't do any damage. Huh. That's surprising. I think my. uh, Yeah, I think my body armor stopped most of that. Good shit, body armor. Fucking what a bro. How much time do I have? I got 36 minutes. So I mean, <laughs> I could be here for a while. I've already been recording a lot, but there's been so much silence that I'm just gonna end up cutting it out. So it's no big deal. But shit, these runs can last like an hour. I'm pretty sure. Oh hey. Hey man. Do you want me to abuse the system? Consider it abused. <laughs> oh no! Can I not get- Okay, there we go. Open. Are you okay? <laughs> Are you alright? Alright, this is a sketchy hallway. It's got more body armor. Damn. Ooh, another knife! I always forget that scavs carry these knives. I should start paying attention to that more. Can't really carry the body armor though. No big deal. It's 2 out of 50 though, but it's, it's already weak as hell. It's probably not worth it. Yeah, I'm gonna try and make my way back down. I don't know if this guy's still around. He must have been super hurt that he had to extract, because I haven't heard a shot or anything in a long time. Tell you what, though. This gun, I knew it was going to be super satisfying to use, and I was 100% right. <laughs> no matter how simple the scav kills are, I don't know, just something about using this weapon. That's my first time getting kills with it, even if it's just NPCs. It's a lot of fun. Like, it's, it's, it's a satisfying weapon. I wish I could have got a kill on an actual player, but that guy managed to evade me, like, I don't know, but he's impressive, okay? All right, I could go for the extraction. I've been, definitely been here long enough. I don't know. I don't really have the gear to justify it, though, I feel like. But, oh well. Whatever, this video's got to wrap up, though. And, you know, I, I better... It's better to get out with this weapon than lose it, right? <laughs> I guess. All right. Hopefully, no one's camp, camp, camp a ruin right now. Hopefully I can get to the extraction with no problems. Probably gonna be problems, but hopefully not. Hey, how much you wanna bet if I loot this weapons crate, I die. All right, let's go. Search. Oh God, I have to, s damn it. I forgot about the animation. Monka S. There's nothing in it. Someone's already done it. Oh, run. Okay. All right, a little bit, a little bit creepy, but that's okay. That's all about this game. That's all this game is. Just creepy interactions and feeling tense and anxiety. And you shouldn't play this if you have anxiety problems because holy fuck. And head towards extraction now. I don't think I've ever been shot here, but uh, I know people are not strangers to camp, like in uh, random spots around extraction points. So totally expecting something uh, rather than nothing because it's always better to expect something than nothing. That way you're on your guard. 
I can say this definitely has been the more one of the more tamer runs I've been on in this game. Uh, definitely intense for sure, but pretty much every run is intense when you play this game. Even just that slight interaction of not killing that one player, it just leaves like a like a feeling that someone's always watching or hearing whatever you're doing around you. It's really creepy, but you know that's part of the fun, I guess. Looking clear for the most part, I think I'll be fine. Traction's just right here, so and there we go. Four seconds, granted, but there we go. We almost made it. We almost made it. We made it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Whew. Holy hell. Well, there you go. I guess successful run. Not bad. I mean, I didn't really get to anything too. I killed two scavs. Yeah, they were both. I don't think they tell you if they're scav players, but I, I would be able to tell. Both of those guys were just regular old scavs. Still not bad. Definitely could have been better. I wish I did get the kill on the player, but yeah, whatever. There's always next run. And then you get to transfer all the stuff that you got from the last run into your inventory. You know, that kind of thing. Got two knives so I can move these in. I guess I can find spots for them. Like there. Another scope I'll be able to put somewhere. And put my helmet back. No, I'll keep it on. I'll just keep the helmet on for now. More grenades. That was a hell of a grenade run. I actually was very surprised to find this many grenades. <laughs> kind of hard to find space. Again, still need to work on inventory management. But, you know, in time, I'll figure it out for sure. What's this key? Let's find out what this key is, actually. Key of Portable Cabin, which is located at the Factory Zone of Customs. Huh, all right. Well, I got a bunch of keys here, so, you know, <laughs> another one to collection, I guess. Right, let me actually sell this cat. The cats are worth a lot. Question is, who likes the cats? 24 grand. Basically, what I'm doing right now is just comparing prices, if you're curious. Okay, so therapist likes them the most, so you can give me 24 grand for this. Deal! Give me that money. Boom. There we go. Basically, made back my insurance price, but I mean, like, that's... Those are insured permanently now until I die, basically. So if you look at my character, you'll see it has a little armor right there. That means it's insured permanently. So not 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 bad, not bad. Anyway, I think that's gonna wrap it for the video. I'm just gonna sell the stuff and whatnot after I'm done recording, but that was a pretty long recording, at least. It's been about an hour, but uh, I'm probably gonna cut it down to around 15 minutes, some, ballpark somewhere around there, because there was a lot of silent parts, but hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you do wanna see more Tarkov, let me know. I'll definitely be playing more of it, even after the server's wipe. It'll be fun to go back in and sort of be on equal ground with everyone again. But hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and a comment on the video. I'd appreciate it very much. If you have any more tips for me, I did read through the comments last time and I got some basic pointers there and that's how I knew some of the stuff I did know this video. <laughs> but thank you again. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for all the support on videos recently. It means a lot. And I will see you guys later.